Oh, Empire Table Talk! Last time on D&D. Did we get any experience from last time? Because it was just one fight we had. We did, we, we did lots of things. things. We did a whole bunch of social yes. shit. Last t- yes, last time. My um, was so bored. Let's see. See, I started the recording now, which is why I'm all, all piping up. Hello. Um, Internet. Yes. Friends. Hello. Hello. Welcoming to uh, the third, the fourth session. Yes, the fourth. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be hard to start or keep remembering. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Numbers are hard. Numbers are hard. They are. Numbers are We're hard. in the single digits. I know. <laughs> <laughs> have you been a math major? Because I have, but I assume it's hard. Uh, you guys got hmm. off the boat. Uh, and then you got back on the boat to cross Lake Tarek. I was about yeah. to say, getting off the boat was a very nice way to put what we did that boat. And you, yeah. <laughs> and you, uh, you spent uh, quite a while planning out your eventual uh, sir, of, a mutiny sn- uh, against the captain yeah. of the ship, snipping went, some loose ends. Uh, and then, as he was about to like pull up to shore, we horribly murdered his crew, yeah. crashed the ship into the shore. I murked that bitch. Yeah, you, that. you did. We did good. Yeah. We we he killed. He went his... out like a bitch. Yeah, he uh, he did. It's very like... similar to the way he went out in my other campaign because he kept missing my gunslinger for, for no reason. He got one attack off and missed it completely, and then um, just died. Anyway, this campaign. Huh? Moving on. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is supposed to. Be that right. was a very short part too. Like killing him didn't take long. No, no. it didn't. It that was uh, booted his ass yeah. and his ship. Killing and we got a yeah. sizable. Reminds me of another boss we recently fought. Yeah. No, it really huh. didn't. Huh. Killing the crew took a bit longer, but <laughs> yeah. much longer though. It's just because there were a lot of them and we didn't know what to do. Yeah, <laughs> yes. you did a lot of sneaking around and uh, you know stabbing people in their I sleep. I pretended to sleep. I'm pretending. I mean, actually, the ones who uh, stayed. Well, you hit people also with your hammer. Yeah, that happened when I sleep. That, that would be hilarious if that just happened and everyone was like, good job. I'm like... <sighs> oh, that, that doesn't bode well. <laughs> uh, and of course, without a captain, the ship uh, eventually crashed onto the shore. We're not very good at piloting things. Kind of just let it go. We did, we let it go. Yeah. And then you looted the hell out of it, yeah. and you got like 5,000 gold from, uh, from the captain's chest. And then somebody... Not gonna point fingers or name names. Somebody thought it would be a brilliant idea to not just set the thing on fire, but turn it into a fucking firework. That's not a good idea. Was that idea. you, Aki? We had a great time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they started a small fire, and then Aki casts a spell that made like a two hundred foot radius. Line. And the thing is, is it didn't make an explosion. It was just like, here's a light to indicate, yes, this ship yeah. is now on fire. Not that the fire <laughs> and smoke was a big enough indicator. I'm going to put this giant sun floating 200 feet above it. And uh, my character became an arms dealer. That's, That's right. why I asked That's we were right. close to town. <laughs> you showed up at Alder Grove. Yeah. Alder Cross. That's the one. Alder Cross. <laughs> and we were a family of merchants. Yep. We yes. got daddy fat sacks. What? Uh, it's bro- Father Shaw. All right, Father Shaw. We got little Timmy. Sister Lily and Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob, <laughs> which is what I'm actually officially renaming my character to. I'm and, now, I am now to be known only as Uncle Bob. And uh, Miss Absent. Hey, Cass. I am Uncle Bob. Absent. <laughs> All right, Uncle Bob. <laughs> Uncle Bob was <laughs> later. Um, Uncle Bob, you know That's we're not role playing that anymore, right? I'm Uncle Bob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just stays Uncle Bob forever. He's like, you got you kids. It's like we're older than you. A little slow on like, the uptake. We're at the bar. Yeah. Yeah. He's just like, I'm Uncle Bob. <laughs> What's <laughs> Well, what happens if you leave an orc on a boat to not fight things for a yeah. while? He becomes Uncle Bob. He realizes <laughs> that he needs a family. <laughs> I'm now a family man. Speaking of speaking <laughs> of not fighting things. Yes. Yeah. Guess what? My character did. No, yeah. not fighting things. Yeah. Yep. Because you guys are now at uh, Elden Cross, which is right next to the Castle Valentine. Valentine, that's the name of it. Which is uh, which is a big ass keep full of soldiers and all sorts of stuff that you have no idea about. And uh, you are pretty sure that you can't just walk in there and kill everyone because there's like a hundred plus people. Well, nope, I think we're trying to we get a did. good idea of what's in there. We did get well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine yes, numbers. Mike. Guys, do you guys remember how long we have till we storm the castle? Yes, we have two, uh, four weeks. Two, we had four weeks to do it. Uh, two weeks would be the best. So. A month. But... 
Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And we only spent three days and got nine nine. We're rooms. already we got all these rumors, and we found four different ways to get into. The We're case. already to go the, pretty much. Days. They're pretty in the good. gathering information phase. They're trying to figure out how best to sabotage the place. And so, uh, uh, what have you found out so far? Well, the, what we found out so far is that, um, well, for one, there are a hundred guards that are posted at Valentine. Uh, we know that uh, there are a few guards that uh, may very well be having an affair or something along those lines. We found out that the inn that we're staying at uh, used to be a brothel, and it does, in fact, have a secret passage that leads underneath the keep into a... Yeah, I know. Uh, we found it <laughs> on the first day. We were so fucking happy. Um, mm -hmm. We also found out that there is a scouting party that goes out every so often. It's one of the one of the captains follows that scouting party so to be... Uh, more gallant, and be like, "Ha ha! I am the best in the last." Well, I think the rumor was that he just attack when he's out. I think the rumor was that they they, they no. thought he was just going around and or screaming horn. when he was going out. <laughs> no, but um, three things. Sorry, if you were. Sorry, I'm just gonna finish this stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 more rumors left. There was um, uh, there's also um a bard coming to town. That was one of the things. Yes, there's uh, a bard coming to town. William really Marcus Marlowe, the beloved bard of Barrington. Um, we found out. What else? Barrington. Yeah, I know. Um, I left here. Yeah. Um, yeah, we found out a lot of stuff about those guys. I mean, we found out that we could also disguise ourselves as peasants and try to work our way in there as, like, a cleaning staff. And yeah. Stuff. And the other option that we had was uh, to disguise <laughs> ourselves as Balin or the Knights and try to sneak in that way. Um, so, I do have a question about it, though. Has no one else figured out that Sir Balin is... Missing or dead? Because I mean, we're getting a lot of mileage. Well, out of this guy. I, 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 we'll figure we, it out. I'm, we haven't used him since that first, uh, first uh, inspection pass. I know, but that was like a month after he had gone mm -hmm. missing. Two months, even. Well, Sir Balin is not. It's a large country. Is is not Three a local. Uh, that's how long we trained him. Sir Balin is not a local figure in in Alden Cross. Yeah. Uh, and I still his have that other his squire Timian was was from here, but that's yeah. about the extent of it. Mm. Sorry. That that younger knight that we encountered. That yeah, Timmy. Yeah, yeah I still have his clothing and his appearance. Our, our people are for, for only <laughs> so, being here for three days. Our people are actually pretty popular. Like we've we've gotten a lot of information because the guards. We think we've decided that, against uh, using the skies because people will ask him questions we don't really know. Excited and always talk to the guards about trying to find information. But I You're have so cool. Uh, I really I'm, want to be a knight when I grow up. Perfect. Oh my god! I'm a god. peasant girl that uh, always I tries to find interesting them and stuff like that. And I I I, I, I make her female. Right? Yeah, I make it seem like I'm really interested in uh, this one knight who's actually like supposed to be super handsome. Cool girl, right? Right, right. Um. Uh, he turned out, he was a, uh, an item merchant. All the items that we picked up, like all the studded armor and stuff like that, he pretends that he's a weapon merchant. He sells them, like, same with the, uh, items. <laughs> I'm an like arms that. merchant. What's funny oh, is, yes. after oh, we yes. destroyed Sell the it. ship, I actually ate the arm of the captain. Yeah. And, um, what we found, what we, uh, decided that we were going to do, and the part that we kind of just left off at I is, um, I think Kate wrote down what we had there. We found out okay. there were some rare items, actually, in town. Like, there's a few people that have had them. And we actually were just coming up with uh, an elaborate plot on how to rob all the stores without seeming suspicious. And uh, the idea that we had actually involved you, because we were thinking, okay, you're outside of town, so you can do like a secret agent, sneak in, pretend to steal the steel and stuff. Dun, 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 and then, uh, but we did find out that there's Well, if hiding. anything, you switch positions with me by taking my disguise, yeah. and I do the thieving. Mm -hmm. Well, way. we also figured out there's a foolproof way to do it. We loot all the shit right before the... The bears attack. Well, the, the idea, bear. would be good. literal bear. Well, the idea that we also had would that would be that a person would come in from out of town, pretend to be like somebody who's really interested. And in, that's the thing we were planning on pretending to sell the quarterstaff, like the uh, long uh, narwhal horn that we got that was worth like six thousand or something. It was we like two thousand. Uh, two thousand. Sorry, I demanded we get yeah. that thing. We were we were gonna pretend that we were gonna sell it, like put it out and say if anybody came by to try and buy it, we were like, oh no, a high uh, a high end bidder had already come by and he he said that he was gonna put a hold on it. And if anybody asked, we'd point you out and be like, oh, that guy. And we'd just say that you were going around looking for high-class stuff. And then the ne that night, we'd rob the shit out of stuff, take what we wanted, hide it underneath our disguises, and then you'd just disappear. Or we'd, put, we'd make you go into that uh, underground passage and hide underneath the castle. If anything, I was going to go check out the castle now. Yeah. I might be saying we, things we already know, but we definitely got at least three objectives so far. And the most important one for sure is leadership. Yeah. Who runs the place? Who's um, beneath them? Who takes charge? We did of find out. We did find out the lord, the the lord, lord Havilland. Havilland. Yeah, the yes. Lord Havilland. Yeah. Okay. We did find him out. He's a paladin, I think. You well, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. It, it is suspected paladin. he is a paladin. That's a tongue twister. Yeah. So we need somebody who can hide their aura. Well, the first thing. We, well, actually, I can. Because I can. Well, 
I, mean, I don't have. I don't have <laughs> I no. Uh, I win. <laughs> I can, oh, yeah, yeah, I can no actually art. hide my alignment entirely. If anything, you should scout the castle, because I have thief abilities, but I can't hide from a paladin. Yeah. So, and I mean, I've got really good stealth, so I would, that's actually good. So, if anybody's going to go underneath the actual castle through that secret passage, it would probably be the two of us because we've got the best stealth. Oh, yeah. let me double check my stealth here, real quick. Thank Amy, but oh well. Well, yeah, but we, 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 <laughs> we all know, know we can sneak around. We can't discuss it with you right now because you're out of town. So. <laughs> Technically, we're just saying um, well, you're literally saying that you're maybe like I could just shut it over the town wall. It would be like a this guy says a song. First in command, like, second in command, and anybody oh, otherwise that can assume command before them. Well, we um, know that there are a handful of captains. We don't know how many for sure. We're assuming it's like one per ten guards is what we were thinking. So if if there's a hundred of them, we're thinking that maybe there might be ten captains. Oh, there may be easily more than a hundred of them. Well, we know we know for a fact from what they said that unless it was a, a, a lie that the guards were saying, when we toasted them, they said uh, they were toasting to the 100 guards that are staying there. So the 100 knights or whatever soldiers strong that went there. So unless it's like rounded up or rounded down, there's only about 100 guys in there. Okay. So. Um, and there's like five of us. Second Six. objective. Defenses. As we were just te- as I, I, bleh, as we were just saying, I imagine me and you were going to go figure that out and then we'll sabotage them as we can. Yes. If we get caught, <laughs> things can get pretty freaking heated up mm-hmm. faster than we can fucking handle it. Wanna know what's gonna get heated up? Them. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but defenses will probably be one of our main priorities besides yeah. taking out command. That'd be like a slow going thing. It's probably one of those things we'll have to do as the days are going by. Um, Little subtle things so that they don't catch Do we know that secret passage goes into the castle? Yes. We yes, know. you guys I, checked I, it out. Uh, yeah. I think I took... Aki on my back and hauled ass down it yep. because you I did. could run the uh, fastest. The last would be troops. Yeah. If we could figure out a way to slow down the troops' ability to fight, morale, well, make them sick. Actually, that you do make a good point. <clears throat> Cage found out that there was an alchemist that was selling rat poison. So if we can find a way to poison oh. food or water or something, we can we could probably find a way to get them sick. Then that would definitely um. be in our interest if we could find something effective enough that wouldn't be too obvious either because i imagine rat poison smells quite a bit rat poison is actually in this case arsenic oh uh, so it would be over this yeah nice <clears throat> not that i killed anyone with arsenic before <laughs> <laughs> just kidding fda just listening. kidding <laughs> my stealth is eight your stealth is eight that is a All solid right. number so uh that's about the long and short of it they're just Twelve. gathering they gathered some information I... they killed a ship captain they blew Nine. the shit out of a boat Yep. And uh, now they're probably gonna, you know, gather more information and maybe, I uh, maybe start uh, doing Ooh. the sabotagey stuff. Sorry if we put you to sleep in our ass. Empire tabletop. <laughs> Out.